So I've come to this fantastic venue in North Yorkshire which is motorist and I'm here to review the BMW 135i. So we're here at North Yorkshire's Morris Hub and one of the people that drive these fantastic vehicles is Chief Inspector Mick Roth from North Yorkshire Police. Say hello to Mick Roth everyone. Morning Ben. Morning, you alright? All right, Thank yeah. you so much for coming. So Mick, tell us about this car, what's it like to drive on a daily basis and why have North Yorkshire gone to 135s? Well it's a fantastic little car, it's like a little pocket rocket, it goes well in bends and that's why we've bought it. We've got big problems in North Yorkshire with uh, motorcyclists uh, in North Yorkshire were disproportionately affected for motorcycle fatalities so it's something we need to police really robustly sometimes and the only thing that keeps up with motorbikes in the bends is something like this and that's why this vehicle's been bought. Fantastic. What are the pros and cons then with having such a small compact car as a pursuit vehicle? So as a pursuit vehicle it's um, it's really agile, really nimble, it's got a really short wheelbase, uh, it's turning circles fantastic. You often see in pursuits people doing U-turns on you and that kind of thing. These cars can spin on the sixpence so that's why they've been bought. They're great in a pursuit. Um, they've got the speed as well that we need to get up with people and uh, you see people in pursuits going through red traffic lights at speed we can't do that we've got to be able to stop and then catch them back up again and that's why this vehicle's ideal if you had any choice of traffic car at the moment in today's climate what sort of vehicle would you be picking something like this really in today's climate uh, criminality now use uh, my performance cars like this quite a lot to commit um, burglaries and high value crime so we've got to have that vehicle that can keep up and match what they do so tell us about the engine then so we've got a two litre four cylinder turbocharged all-wheel drive yeah, it's an all-wheel drive car uh, other than what you've just said I can't tell you a great deal <laughs> <laughs> so all-wheel drive car we're looking roughly about 306 brake horsepower 400 newton meters of torque not 60 is about 4.7 seconds and a top speed of 155 mile an hour if it's governed so one of the questions we always get asked by members of the public are are your police vehicles chipped and do you do something mod wise or extra to when they come out of the factory I can't say <laughs> is that a traffic cop secret that's a traffic cop secret I can't tell you what's under the bonnet Fantastic. what we do to the cars how we look after them how we prepare them and what we do right brilliant so, and it be uh, it's our little secret is that fantastic are we all right to have a look inside of course you are yeah by right all means. fantastic So we're now in the Pursuit vehicle, obviously driven by Mick Roth. Mick, what can you tell us about the Pursuit vehicle? What can you tell us about all the instruments, the controls? Because to me, I know what it is, I know what these things do, but to members of the public, it's going to look like a spaceship, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, there's lots of differences. It's, it's a standard cabin, generally, but then we have to bolt on all our ancillary equipment. So I'll talk you through what we've got here. First and foremost, in-car CCTV. This is WatchGuard as a system. It's uh, 5KI definition. CCTV. This thing's a fantastic bit of kit. You've got your front camera here, an internal camera, and a rear camera. So what you've got is a 360 wrap around a video for the car. That is high definition stuff. It'll spot you a mile off. You can zoom in and ID people from that. It's a great, great bit of kit. Is that? Um, blue light control, this is everything that controls the blue lights on the car, so we have a little control panel, all the top lights, uh, what we call alley lights, which are lights that shine off the side of the car, and back light internally, and obviously when we need to go quick we just hit 999. Those controls are mirrored across on the steering wheel as well, you can see little coloured buttons on the steering wheel. See that's new is that isn't it? Yeah that's, yeah, that's, that's a new thing, so, so we can concentrate on we're driving, if we get behind something that fails to stop we just feel quick it with press. a thumb and off we go. Because what a lot of people won't realise as well, it's one of these myths, people say 
in the car is not recorded so with watch guard when you press 999 it instantly comes on there's a record it comes on inside inside the cabin uh, and it also records is it three minutes beforehand yeah there's a pre-record on it yeah. as well so if you hit 999 or any illuminate any lights your watch guard springs into life um, it also records your braking whether your lights are activated on the video so you can see a bit of a telemetry from telemetry trace on the video as well which is really useful for us so it's not one of those things you can put your lights on when you want some fish and chips and want get back doesn't it no 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 <laughs> it's all it's all we're now uh, we're governed by this all the time so as soon as the lights go on obviously supervisors as well can look at when when that's happening uh, when those lights go on our control room can dial into this so they can live stream so if our control room wanted to look what we were doing now a little eyeball would come onto the screen there so basically when they're in the control room they could be 100 miles away in the control yeah. room they can literally tap into the camera and see why you're driving and what you're driving like so all these myths that people say they're seeing a traffic cop just mucking about in the car it's all fallacy and it's not true what's a fallacy it's, yeah it's all a myth because everything's recorded and then you're disciplined and Mick will tell you as a chief inspector um, if someone like a traffic cop mucks about the first thing they do they revolt your permits and they'll kick you off traffic water yeah absolutely. and it's one of the it's one of the biggest things you can get is a ticket to drive one of these cars it's fantastic right Mick so while we're here what everyone wants to know is what equipment you carry in the boo and one of the main things people want to know is stinger so can we have a cheeky look in your boot and have you got a stinger with you you can show us yeah i've got a stinger and you can have a cheeky look Ooh, in boot, what means we'll do boot first have a look in boot then show us what you've got i bet it's all neat in it look at that look <laughs> that's all neat it's all neat we like to have neatness see we, we like want to go like neatness. west yorkshire no no so what we've got on top here is uh, our signage so you see these out all the time at yep. collisions please slow please stop and all that Road kind of clothes, thing, Road that thing yep. our signs live on top because we want them out quick so if we get to a bump and we want to put them out there on top and they need to come out straight away we've then got a drawer with all our kit inside it oh fantastic uh, flashing blue lights that go on top of cones all our measuring kit some safety some other safety kit and some paint to mark out the floor and that kind of thing and then we've got to carry these cones as well so these cones are obviously you see these out in collisions yep. you can just lift them out the back uh, and there's eight cones in this car and we're carrying that today it's all very compact in it it's all really easily accessible because like so before in north york oh, sorry west yorkshire we wouldn't have got any of this it's literally throw all your stuff in back yeah, yeah i'm not saying we're amateurs but this seems like you're top at food chain really it seems like you've got all the gear you've got all the id and you Absolutely. know exactly what you're doing yeah it's important that our officers have got all the kit that they need to be safe on a road you get to a collision scene it's sort of chaos generally yeah. you want this kit out really quick you don't want it rolling around in a boot and having to fish for it you want boot open grab get your arm in there set of cones out straight away and start throwing, throwing your out. cones out yeah. yeah so um and then and then your signs and whatever else so it, it's all designed to be brought out really quickly officers need to feel safe don't they when they're on the road they don't need yeah. to think someone's going to hit me from 40 mile an hour behind they need to be safe on the road yeah but it's no different to when you were doing it it's, yeah. uh, it's a dangerous dangerous place you want this kit out as quick as you can you want to hear a car skittling cones over before they get anywhere near yeah, you exactly um, if that's going to happen so that's why it's designed that way you will be able to see on top there there's our matrix sign i don't know if you can see that that's it's on our boot shelf but that's a sign that comes up in the back of the window i like your leds as well in there as well yeah because when you if you think about it when you're at a collision site as soon as that goes up your light bar's gone yeah so you've got to have these lights these these bulb blasts represent your light bar so when that's up people can still see lights flashing and you've got rear quarter lights flashing as well so you want to be as visible as you can yeah it's strange uh, and people don't get this but this is the most illuminated car ever it's got lights it's like a christmas tree it's covered in stripes people still crash into them while, while we're up boots open yep give me i'm going to throw you out now give me a myth <laughs> that people think about traffic cops give me a myth that you want to quash so i get always used to get asked do you like vehicles do you like motorbikes do you like cars are you out there to prosecute i used to say no i'm i'm a junkie i like not obviously the lot of drugs i'm a junkie on cars anything with an engine in and my philosophy was educate rather than prosecute yeah so what's your myth that you want to quash yeah i think the myth is you know we're rats and all that kind of thing traffic rats and we go out and we persecute your grandma that type of thing that's not what we're about um, we we love the road we love being on the road we love driving people say how do you drive 12 hours a day i drive 
all day, every day. We love being in cars, we love cars, we love being on the road. We want people to enjoy the road, we want people to travel safely on the road. We're here to educate, that's what today's about. We're here to educate, speak to people and dispel all those myths. We're not here to just prosecute people all the time with an iron fist. It's not Fantastic. what we're about. Right, last but not least, show me Stinger. Right, come Get on. Get your then. weapon out, lad. So Stinger, so because <laughs> this is a small car, um, our Stinger is accommodated on our back seat. So we've got a specially designed bag. So when we want to get that out quick, we jump in there, quick release strap and we pull it out. Right. And out it comes and there's our Stinger. And uh, that's the action stuff there. Right, so what people don't know is these are actually razor sharp. If you push down with any sort of force on there, it goes straight into your finger. They're all those spikes. They're in a, like a rubber bung on the bottom. So when your car drives across, it's your criminal car. There's a certain a, a amount of just spikes pulls it, just that, pulls yeah, out. that are meant to go in and it just pulls out and that's what stays in your tire there. Your tire instantly fades within seconds and we get a, a load of these spare and as soon as they come out, we just put them back in um, and that's it. And these, uh, I think, are one of the best pieces of kit we've ever had in the police. They're brilliant to use, they're easy to use. The only thing is if you throw it and you throw it wrong, you can look a bit of a... <laughs> <laughs> I've thrown these at windscreens and all sorts before. <laughs> but you yeah, can get it wrong at each moment. Yeah. That's your stinger and uh, I'm not being funny, I think they're fantastic out there. They, they do a great job. They're a great bit of kit. Yeah. Um, as soon as you can get this out under a car, you know your pursuit's over, the danger's gone, they're not going to be driving for much longer. Because as you say, Ben, uh, the design to deflate the tyres, the spikes stick in, the air passes through the hollow and the, all the four tyres go down. Fantastic. Well, you've heard it first here, people. This is Mick Roth. This is North Yorkshire's police vehicle. And stay tuned, there's going to be more videos soon.